Hello, I'm Dragos from uh, epidas.com and in this video we are gonna see how we can uh, upgrade Cloud Panel to the latest version. If you don't know, Cloud Panel is a hosting panel that can help you host multiple websites. It's using Nginx behind the hood to, to host the websites. I've created a uh, video with the Cloud Panel installation I will leave the link in the description if you want to, to check it. We're going to upgrade the our Cloud Panel on Hesner VPS. This is the provider that I'm using to host all my WordPress websites. So I'm using this combo Cloud Panel with Hesner and the websites are very fast and they never went down. So in this video, we're going to see how we can upgrade the Cloud Panel. Okay. Uh, Let's go and check. So this is the Cloud Panel uh, installation. I am logging in, in here and first thing that you should go is to go into the admin area. And in here you can check and see if uh, you have any version available. So in here down you have the Cloud Panel version you have and you will see this uh, update available. If you have the update, uh, uh, if exists if any update exists for this. So currently we have an update and if we go and check, I will just open this. This is just their procedure that will help you update. And in here we should have the change log and in, if you check, now you see that there is a new version. The new version is 2.2.0. It has been released on uh, in December 08, so currently we are in 15 December, it uh, passed about one week and these are the changes. So you have the PHP 8.2 added, you have the dark mode for the UI, you have Node.js 80 LTS added and some bug fixes and yeah, so on. these are the change logs. Another thing that you should keep in mind is that like you shouldn't upgrade the uh, right away to the to a new version you should wait for about one or two weeks to see if there are any problems reported you should up, you should upgrade and test before only if you have like a bug that you want to really fix it and it's affecting all your websites and things like that but uh, if you're not in a hurry it will be a, like a good practice to wait for about one or two weeks before going into upgrading to the last versions just to be uh, more uh, more relaxed and see if someone had had issues so yeah this is how you check the version and see if you have an update it's, it's available so as I told you I'm using Hetzner so I have here the VPS for this where I have uh, the websites and uh, the first thing that you should do is to have a backup of your uh, VPS so in case something goes wrong you should be able to to revert the changes and uh, put up the websites. So this will have a downtime on your website. So you should do that when you don't have that much traffic or in, if you have like big sites or e-commerce sites that are hosting with Cloud Panel, you should be aware of that because uh, you will need some downtime to upgrade it and have the things done in the right right uh, way so in here you have the vps this is my vps and yeah the first thing that we should do is to have a snapshot but uh, before doing that it will be a good idea to stop the services and uh, power off your vps so the snapshot to be in good shape in case you need it so we're gonna do that we're gonna stop the services so what services are running in, in here? You have these services that Cloud Panel is using. You have this admin interface and instance. And in here we have like MySQL and Nginx and PHP, Redis and Varnish Cache that it's running. Uh, my recommendation is to stop the MySQL and Nginx for, for this. And then you can power off your, your VPS. MySQL is the database and, and it will be good to be, be stopped cleanly so you don't have surprises and the, the database to start after you 
make this snap, snapshot also. Nginx is the web server and it will not send any traffic to, to the websites or to MySQL for this. So that's why we're gonna run to commands first. We're gonna stop the Nginx. And to do that, we need to log into this to the server with SSH. I already did that in here. So yeah, I just tested this command before, but we're gonna run them now. So the first thing, let's stop the nginx. Okay, this will gonna stop the nginx. Then we're gonna stop the MySQL. All of these commands, it will be in an article that I written on my blog. It will be into the description. So right now, we have stopped these two important services. Let's see if we check the status, for instance. Let's say MySQL and I run the status. It, this thing is inactive, so it's stopped. So right now we can go and power off our uh, VPS to have a consistent snapshot. To do that, you can go into the power and in here you have the power off that will uh, just like will be like a, a pulling the cord or attempt shut shut down for uh, this if you want the safest thing you should go with attempt shut down but for this i will go in with power off because i already have some snapshots in case something goes wrong of this so right now we're powering this thing off so right now this thing it's powered off it's stopped if you go, you should be froze in here. Yeah, because you don't have the, the server up. So next we go into the snapshots and we're gonna take a snapshot of this thing. And we're gonna hit take snapshot. And in here we'll put a name. So let's shot before upgrade. I'll put a name just to know it. Create and buy. So basically, uh, the price is very cheap to take a snapshot in, ha in Hesner. You see here the price is like a couple of uh, uh, pennies for uh, per gigabytes, and usually this has about 13 uh, gigabytes. You see here, like I have already snapshots created before with this because I have the automatic snapshot created as a backup enabled in Cloud Panel. To check that, you can check the, the video down the description. So right now, we're gonna wait for this to, to finish. I mean, it should take a couple of minutes in function of how much data you have there. And after the snapshot is ready, we should power on this VPS and we're gonna proceed to the next step to start an upgrade. The, Cloud panel on the VPS. I will pause this and come back when this is finished. It is finished. The snapshot has been created. You see in here it uh, was created two minutes ago. It took about two minutes or three minutes to finish completely. So right now we should power on this server because we need to log in again to the server and run the cloud panel update. So we just go to power and we hit power on. So right now the server it started, it's prompting us in, in here. The next thing that we are gonna need to do is to log into the SS through SSH to the server. I have here the key and I have the IP address. So right now we're we're logging to the to the VPS. And then the next thing that we're gonna need to do is to run the Cloud Panel update. To do that, we're gonna need to run this command. So clp-update. So right now uh, the update will uh, will run until upgrade to cPanel and the packages that we have in here. Let me make this thing bigger so for you to see. So yeah, I mean, in function of the updates that are there, it should take a uh, couple of minutes. Again, you see here like it's installing the PHP 8.2 and uh, it's updating all the other packages that it needs. I guess everything it will be updated on the server with this. So yeah, Cloud Panel is installed right now. 
you see that it's moving from to point one to two point two. Let's wait and uh, have this thing finished. Yeah, it shouldn't be that that much. So we have this new version. It will add the PHP 8.2, the latest version, which is pretty pretty good. The cloud panel Fox moved uh, faster, and uh, it uh, it added the PHP version quite fast. I really love cloud panel because it's it's very fast and it's very clean. And it's reliable. Okay, right now it's setting up the certificates. I see it's checking the time zone. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, going through all the changes that are needed to upgrade to the latest version. In our case, 8 uh, 2.2. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Okay. It has restarted the cloud panel services for this. Also, I'm usually doing a reboot after the upgrade so everything to start cleanly and don't have any surprises so at the end we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna reboot the server again to to be sure that everything uh, it's running properly after in the start is being skipped yeah, this is just uh, a restart package. So right now, this has been updated. The next thing that we're gonna need to to do is to stop again the services. We're gonna go and stop Nginx and MySQL. Okay. And then right now, we're gonna do a reboot and this will reboot the server so right now the server is going through the reboot we should wait for about one or two minutes until uh, logging it logging in back to be to to see the the prompts let's wait let me try to log in okay it's still rebooting Okay, right now the server is up. So right now we should have the server up. I'm just gonna do a top to see the processes and everything is okay in here. So everything looks looks good. The next thing that we're gonna need to do is to check that everything is okay on on this VPS. So uh, yeah, to do that, uh, first thing that we're gonna need to go is to go and check the services on this. Let me see. If I am logging. Okay, I am logging in here. If you go to admin area, you have the instances in services. So in here you see that everything is up and running. And in here you have the correct version for this. It's the latest one, version 2.2. It should have all the latest things. I will go to one website this for instance to check that everything is okay with the UI. I have this test website that I can do a manage in here and in here for instance, yeah, we're gonna check for instance the logs just to see if there are issues. Yeah, this is the access log, let me go to this just to see it's up and running. Also, I have my website if it does also hosted in, in here. As you can see in here, the website it's up or running. If we click it, we can see the articles and things like that. We can even log into the admin area to see that everything is okay with this installation. So yeah, everything looks fine. 
with the website. Also, this one looks looks fine. Yeah, the other thing that you know, is to check the, the logs. You have the options to check the error log, for instance, just to see if you have any any issues in, in here. These are not uh, uh, problems, they are just uh, uh, normal failures. Do the same for PHP if you want, you don't have any issues. In here you have like the other settings with password, uh, you host the database under the tabs that, that, that are here. So yeah, right now everything looks to to be upgraded correctly in, in here and sh we should have all the, the things uh, done properly in here. For instance, this is a new feature that was added, like to have the dark mode. So you see right now we can have the dark mode for, for, for this in, in, in here. Another thing that can be checked is like they added the PHP 8.2. Let's see if this thing is working. I will just hit save for this. This is under the log with those. I'm just playing around to see if everything is okay with this installation and with the new things. So the website looks to, to work properly after changing it to, to this version. So the Dark mode it looks really nice. So we don't have any errors in here for today. So yeah, like this, you are uh, updating the cloud panel to the latest version. It will be good to keep the snapshot there for I don't know, a couple of weeks. I think it's not expensive to be sure that uh, nothing wrong is nothing wrong is happening with uh, with the upgrade you you did. So yeah, that's that's it. In case you enjoyed the video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the to the channel and uh, like it. I will add some uh, videos at the end, a playlist with some cloud panel videos that I did in the past that can help you understand more about cloud panel. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.